Boom, bring it out. A's on top. That's pretty much the only untangling you really need to do. You just gotta make sure the A's are on top. The A lines, these are the top lines, go to the front of the glider. Now, I am hooking in backwards because I'm facing the glider. You're, you know, technically you would be flying the same direction as your glider. Since it's backwards, I bring them perfectly together. I flip a 180. I only twist the tips. I don't twist the whole risers, just the tips. And then you hook in left for left and right for right. That way when I flip around, the glider will be free and correct. Okie dokie. So, two, bring your glider up. A's. I do not pull A's. If I pull A's, it folds the glider up like a taco because you're folding the glider in half. You gently lift A's, but you really don't make the wind blow by yanking A's. You make the wind blow by running and increasing airspeed. So I'm gonna gently just put a little pressure on the A's and then I'm gonna run backwards, creating my airflow by running. And... Okay, let's do that again. Now, notice how the A's are the same height. Woohoo! If I turn this way, notice how they are a different length. And if I turn this way, the A's are a different length. So when you're bringing the glider up, you can't touch the brakes. Because if, if you touch the brakes when it's coming up, you will just stall the glider at such low airspeed. If you like trying to launch an airplane at too low of an airspeed, it's just gonna get really ugly. So you can't touch the brakes. So what I can do is when it comes up, I can lift the A's and steer with the A's. So if it starts going to the left, I'm gonna put pressure on the low side. And so I lift the low side, which looks about like this. I can steer with that low side. And so you're, you're applying pressure to the side you need to accelerate because you don't want pressure on the higher side. And so that is kind of a fun little drill, which we will do later because it's going to take a while to get there. But to actually just hover the glider a couple feet off the ground, bingo. And so you're adding pressure to bring it up, reducing pressure to bring it down, and then left and right, as well as turning towards the low side. Turning, weight shift, and walking towards the low side. Notice how the glider shifted over there? That was a huge direction change in wind. So the glider will weather vane. If the wind all of a sudden comes from that direction, the glider will swing automatically downwind. Kind of cool. So bringing a glider up reverse, if you're using A's, you're steering with the A's, you're steering by turning your body, and you're steering by walking under the glider, and you're controlling loading by how fast you walk backwards. And don't wait, it, don't worry, it gets much harder. So there's a lot of pieces. The next is how much pressure you put on the risers is critical. So when I'm standing here, you don't really notice because you don't know what to look for, but the pressure I have on the lines is critical. If I walk forwards even that much, the lines go slack, the glider can actually flip upside down, inside out. The, cat, the wind will catch underneath it. There's not much today, so it wouldn't show you. But it'll start snaking and you lose control. If I step back even another inch, notice how the glider starts flying if I'm not ready. So I want this motion right here is absolutely critical where I have pressure, but not too much and not too little. So there is a huge amount of control just in this here. So if I'm standing here getting ready and hooking and figuring out a brake toggle, it's very critical that you're also feeling. You don't go to zero pressure because you lost all control and you don't pull too hard or the glider tries to fly between, before you're ready. So the amount of pressure you pull is critical. Now to bring the glider up, you need to pull hard. It's like launching a paper airplane. You don't take a paper airplane and go do de do de do de do de do and then drop it. It'll just fall out of the sky. You launch a paper airplane. Think about that. When you go to launch a glider, I don't just start walking backwards, do de do de do. I've got to launch it and give it a pull like that. So that is a big one that people screw up all of the time. Now, there's another piece, very important. Notice how the left side of my glider is higher than the right side of my glider. Now the right side of my glider 
is higher than the left side of the glider. So how do you know which way the wind's blowing? You make the glider level, build your wall. So not only am I controlling the pressure forwards and backwards to make sure it's loaded, but not too much and not too little, but I'm sidestepping to make sure it's level. If this side's too high and I pull the glider up, it's gonna wanna shoot over that way because you're starting the wrong direction. It's like starting to drive your car while your steering wheel sideways and you step on the gas and boom, it shoots off to the side. So you want to sidestep to get your glider level, whoop, right in the middle. Now, the next thing you don't want to do is that. Notice when I move sideways, I'm moving smoothly like I'm balancing a book on my head. Everything is smooth. When you, when you walk sideways, you literally cross your legs when you walk so that you always have a foot on the ground. Because if you try to do this quickly, you will literally start hopping. And if you bounce up and down, you shake the glider, that kills the airflow, separates it from the glider, and you lose lift. So it's very important that when you walk, you walk very smoothly, heel toe, heel toe, like you're shooting a machine gun while moving. Anybody done that? No. Yeah, okay, we got some who've done that. Not too many, but you got an MP5 submachine gun, dude? When you're walking, it's heel, you step on your heel, toe, very smoothly, so that you can shoot while walking. That's another class, okay. Walk smoothly. Don't bounce the glider and shake the glider. Level the glider. Control the pressure forwards and backwards. Now, next piece that's huge. Remember you launch a paper airplane. You chuck it. You gotta get airspeed. But once it comes up and bites in and starts flying, now you have to control the loading. So if I keep pulling hard after it's accelerating, it's gonna, overfly me and collapse and shoot off that way or I'm gonna have to bury the brakes to my ankles to try and get that to stop so once I'm sure it's coming up then I can ease off and not pull so hard or even step towards it to kill some of the loading so that it doesn't overfly me so I brought the glider up it stopped I never touched the brakes but what you're not really seeing or thinking about is that I'm doing that with how hard I'm pulling on the risers. So this loading here, I started with a quick run backwards to launch my paper airplane. Once it starts coming up and I know I have the energy, then I can ease off how hard I load the risers to slow that energy so the glider doesn't overfly you. If you don't do that and just keep pulling, That is exactly what happens. The glider will overshoot you violently. So if the glider's overshooting you violently, everybody goes, man, this glider overshoots me. No, you did it wrong. It's because I pulled hard, I created that loading. And I wasted a whole bunch of energy doing it, which is why the glider overflew me. And it doesn't matter if you got zero wind or wind. If you're doing a forward launch in absolute zero wind, it is the same thing. You're gonna have to run quickly at the beginning, but as you feel the glider up, you may have to ease off how hard you're pulling so you don't cause the glider to shoot forwards violently. Now, I didn't stop that just to show you, but normally you would then, if you created too much loading, you would have to stuff those brakes and stop the glider from overflying you so that it never, ever, ever collapses. But you can also do that with how hard you're pulling. Quickly at first and then ease off the energy so that the glider doesn't overfly you and overshoot you. Um, if it does, cancel it with brake, whatever you gotta do.